So I've been uh, doing some searching in Visual Studio Code and uh, I found out that it's doing something really interesting. So when you go to search tab and you search for anything, let's go with Rust, for example, it's gonna go and do its search and it's gonna take a while to find this stuff. But while it's doing its search, if we take a look at the CPU load, there's some crazy stuff going on in there. Let's do uh, Rusty, all right. And it keeps searching and searching because it hasn't found that word before. So it's, it's gonna keep searching. But look at what happens in our CPU history. It's really using up a lot of power to do the search. And I'm wondering what was it that was using up all that CPU power to do the search? Let me do another example. Android, okay. Let's take a look at this uh, CPU usage here. The RG process. That's the one that's taking up all that space all that CPU power. So I'm wondering what is going on with that RG process? That must be the process that does search. So I did a little research and yes, RG stands for rip grep and rip grep is this right here. This is the open source library that does that search and you can just grab this. This is what Visual Studio Code uses under the hood to do its search. It's a very up to date library. You can install it and use it to do searches and it's super powerful. You have all these examples of how you can use it. You can use it with regular expressions. You can use it via grep. But what's cool about it is it does plain text search recursively. So if you're looking for something that needle in a haystack in your computer, this might be able to find it for you. Let's do an example. How about this one right here? This one looks like it takes a while according to their docs at least. So let's let's run this and see if this will work. I've already installed it by the way and you do that using brew install rip grep. Pretty simple. That's the command you use on a Mac to do it. And it also comes with all these other utilities for other operating systems like chocolatey for Windows and for Linux. And I already have brew which is homebrew that's already installed on my machine and I have a video in this channel how to install homebrew on your Mac. It's pretty useful. You'll probably encounter it quite a bit in your development life if you're using a Mac. So I've already installed it. And let's go to the terminal, which is where we use it. And it's just triggered by using RG. You can use RG, but you can also use all these other things that it installs. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that command. Let's see if it'll find Sherlock on my machine. And let's see what this will look like. So I think it's searching right now. We can't see any output, but let's check the activity monitor to see what's going on there. I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but let's go back to the examples and try something else. How about this one? This one uses RG by itself directly. So I'm gonna use that one. Let's paste that in there and run it. Now you can see that it's actually searching for anything that includes underscore suspend. There's a lot of different libraries where it's not allowed to look into. So um, it'll probably ask you for permissions if you wanna search in there. But let's have a look at the activity monitor now and it says RG 981%, which means it's pretty much hitting all the CPUs. Let's look at the CPU history. All right, have a look at that. These are those spikes that I've activated. And now this big red area uh, using the performance cores, that's what we're seeing right now. So it's really crunching through all the text available on my machine everywhere to find this stuff. That one, uh, took way too short. Let's find something else. I want to find any instances of rust. And I'm going to give it a regular expression to see if this will work. Aha. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. That'll keep it busy. What's going on with course 13 through 16? What are they just sitting around not doing anything? Come on, there's stuff to be done. What are you what are you doing? I am not at the root by the way, which is probably why we're running out of things to search. So I'm going to back out a couple of directories and do that search again. And maybe here we'll see something else. I was in my home directory before. Now, if we take a look at this history, you see that most of that is red. And you might be wondering what's the difference between red and green. And I've shown green CPU histories before on this channel when I was doing my tests. By the way, if you want to see these tests with the Mac Studio and other machines that I have here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, just hit a thumbs up, appreciate it. And the difference between the green bars and the red bars is that the green bars are user activated CPU usage. 
So any user applications that are using the CPU, they're gonna show up in green. Red means the system is using the CPU. So that's the difference. So you might see a combination of red and green and they switch around kind of like you're seeing here. There's one more color and that's blue, but we never get to see that because that is uh, low priority tasks. And those are probably never around anyway. Now I wanna give this thing a task, all right? So I wanna see if it'll find a file. I'm gonna hide a file in here. Actually, I'm just gonna use this package.json right here and I'm gonna add a string here, Alex, uh, true. Well, how about my full name, okay? Maybe there's another Alex somewhere else. And I'm gonna add one, two, three on the end so that it finds only that one. Okay, I'm gonna go run this and hopefully it'll find it. RG, and this time I'm gonna make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna go into my home directory and then I'm gonna use that RG command and pass in Alex Ziskin, one, two, three. Let's see how long it takes to find it. I hope it's looking. Okay, it's looking. Sometimes I get a little nervous when I don't see any output. Ah, look at that. Found package.json, Alex Ziskin, one, two, three, true, line 30. Nice tool, huh? Love this thing, just found it. Can't believe I live without this. Thanks a lot for watching folks, I'll see you next time.